Hello. I know, I got a new look. I decided that I wasn't feeling very satisfied with the style in which I was drawing my character. So now, I'm using this one. Two months ago, I was trying to memorize my biology terms, and I stumbled upon this. Okay, okay, now, I know how most of the internet feels about BuzzFeed. For those of you lucky enough to not know what BuzzFeed is, it's a website that specializes in lazy clickbait articles made by losers for losers. Period. Is this necessary? I mean, for the views. Alright, alright, I know you like views. Just farted. Smells like BuzzFeed. Hear what I say, we are the business today. And yes, I agree that some of their videos may be a bit weird. It's ladylike, and today we are painting with our menstrual blood. We're gonna paint the town red. Suck it. I came across a fart in a jar for sale, and I'm about to buy it. Instead of studying, which is what I should have done because that test didn't turn out great, I did some research and Jesus Christ, these guys have created a permanent disturbance inside my soul which is non-existent, but that's not the point. Basically, I made a list of random stuff that I found about snails. Enjoy. <coughs> snails do have teeth. Well, kind of teeth. Mollusks, such as snails, have a tongue called a red... Redula... Radla... Radella... Radula. Oh, thank you, uh, Emma. You guys, this is Emma. Emma is cool. Emma is sweet. Emma is my honey poo. Emma makes sure I pronounce all my words pretty. Be like Emma. <coughs> Just kidding. Ah, uh, Radula has many rows of small sharp teeth, and there's like fourteen thousand of them. I mean, imagine all that sweet cash nail dentist must get. Am I right? So, how much will it be? Well, little Jimmy had a full dental, along with 312 fillings, plus the installation of braces and some other junk. That'll be... $500,000. <coughs> Eating snails is actually quite good for you. Well, you may have already eaten or heard about... Escargo. Thank you, Emma. Snails have a high nutritional value. Being high in protein and iron, and potassium, and that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail because my anxiety is getting the better of me. It is low carb and low fat. So all of you people who actually have the will to be active and not eat garbage, that's good to know. Just please don't pick off the snails in your own garden. Don't ask why, just don't. Aw, oh, shit. Snails use love darts. Okay, so this one involves reproduction, or if you need me to go into simpler terms, SNAIL SEX! If you don't feel like listening to this one, uh, feel free to skip to this part of the video. Whatever. So first, most snails make a series of wiggles and release chemicals that attract other snails. Then they stab each other! No, not like stabbing, but each snail has a dart that it inserts into the other snail to help with implantation and stuff. Then they release the eggs. Also, snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female organs, so a snail's mom is also its dad. <laughs> Freaking what? Baby snails eat their baby siblings. After the eggs have hatched, baby snails go into full Hunger Games mode and their immediate instincts are to find sources of calcium to harden their shell. So they start to eat their own eggshell, which makes sense to a certain extent. But then, they decide to eat other eggshells, in case they haven't hatched yet. Took too long to hatch? Well, too bad you are now Jimmy's morning granola bar! Snail mucus is good for the skin. The slime that snails produce has many skin healing chemicals, including peptides, which increase the production of Collagen and Elastin We good, Emma? Yeah. Thought so. The slime hydrates your skin and reduces inflammation, so snail mucus equals clearer and smoother skin. Y'all girls, I'm 
some boys, but most likely girls, forget your creams and lotions, throw them out the window. Instead, get some dang can draw snail beauty potion, trademarked. Better, shinier, slimier. Get your own dang can draw snail beauty potion in your local source. In conclusion, snails are food, beauty products. They eat each other and are just straight up savages. Let's all give a round of applause to Mother Nature for making snails such fascinating creatures. I hope I won't be judged too badly for this. Okay, maybe I will, but that's not important. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get my ass on track because I have finals and I wasted so much time doing nothing productive. I mean, I spent half of my day just watching Worst Cooks in America. So, yeah. Don't forget to stroke that big red shiny subscribe button, liking this video, commenting and sharing with whoever you think needs to know stuff about snails. I truly don't know what I'm doing. Bye!